How to get money in online marketing. How to get money is a question that more and more people are asking as the economy continues to struggle and the hassles of dealing with their jobs increase. Getting paid online is usually the first thing people think of when they think of avoiding monotonous commute of sitting in traffic for hours in order to get somewhere that should only take minutes. Getting paid online offers the ordinary person the ability to grab share of a market and compete for a share of whatever profits are generated. Think about it in terms of an offline business. Let's have a look at that steps in comparison of starting an online business, as opposed to a traditional brick and mortar business. To if you were looking to open a neighborhood dry cleaning business, would you first check into whether the neighborhood could use another dry cleaner? Of course you would, so the first thing you would probably do is drive around the area and have a look around. If you found that the area was had plenty of dry cleaning businesses, then you could either find another area, chose to start another less competitive business in that same area, or decide that you can succeed in starting a dry cleaning business in the same competitive area. That is called market research, and the same principles would apply online. In fact once you know what you are looking for, it is a lot easier, faster, and better to do market research about online markets than offline markets. There are many free tools which can be used to perform market research. The most popular of which being Google AdWords. There is a keyword research tool that allows you to perform some pretty extensive market research free of charge. There are also some other paid programs out there that will give you much more detailed information. You can easily find them through Google or whichever search engine you use. I would definitely start by using the free tools and free training from someone who has used them. Step 1. Market research in order to start accepting customers and cleaning their clothes, you would first have to have a building to house your dry cleaning business. So once you choose your area, you must then build your building and name your cleaning business. In this case, we'll call the business ABC Cleaners. The name of your business should easily let people know what you are offering. You would not try to get too cute with the name of your dry cleaning business, so apply the same principles to your website. Think about it like this, McDonald's was McDonald's hamburgers for years until they became so recognized that it was no longer necessary to tell people what they cooked. Step 2. Choose a domain name for your website. Let's take a few moments to review some things about step 2. This seems like such an easy thing to do, but I have seen studies that have given hard numbers of as many as 56% people who purchase hosting, give up before ever deciding on a domain name. Best advice is to choose your domain name before purchasing your hosting. Which happens to be step 3. Once you have your business, now you have to pay your landlord. Step 3. Find a reliable hosting service once you have the doors to your dry cleaners open, you have to let the public know that you exist. So that brings us to step 4, advertising. This is where the differences between offline and online marketing start to become harder to duplicate. If you had a dry cleaners, you could put up signs, lights, balloons, and anything else you would need to let the neighborhood know you were open for business. Most of the neighborhood would soon know about you, if only because they had to pass by your location to get in and out of the neighborhood. Online businesses can't make you look at their storefronts. Instead, they must advertise to bring in potential customers. Finding the right spots for your ads is the key. If you do not know how this is done, get with someone who will teach you for free. There are some great coaches out there, but you have to find a reliable one who can be trusted to really show you how to make money online. Step 4. Advertise. Be more than just a laundry person. If you are not already, then you either want to become or hire someone who is an expert in dry cleaning. It is a proven fact that being seen as an expert, or at least a consultative resource in a field, increase the likelihood of people doing business with you. A dry cleaner who can tell a customer how they can remove certain stains at home is more likely to build a loyal customer base than one who simply bleeds his customers for an extra buck or two over charging for stain removal. If you want to know how to get money online, that is how you build value. How to get money online is by gaining credibility within your market the same way. Knowing something that they can use, or that may help them, and giving it to them for free. Online, the most efficient way of keeping track of the people who take advantage of your free offer is to get their email address. 
That way you can send them more useful information. Most people however will not simply give you their emails. Humans are creatures of habit. Once someone has visited your website, if you have done a good job in creating it, they will more than likely visit again, and when they do, they will be looking for something that is new. So the more content you add to your site the better, and offer all your viewers a free gift of some sorts, in order to join your mailing list, or subscribe to your newsletter. There are plenty of items available to you at no cost. Once again, you could either Google something like free private label rights to get some free giveaway items. You definitely want to get a list of as many people who are visiting your site as possible. Large subscriber lists can lead to large bank accounts. One of the most effective, long-term strategies for building lists and relationships is blogging. Even microblogging is popular as a marketing tool. Twitter is the ultimate example of microblogging. You definitely want to build a list of email subscribers, as opposed to just having a bunch of Twitter followers or Facebook friends. These markets are more for branding, not making direct income. Step 5. Build a list of subscribers backtracking just a bit. Step 5 is by far the trickiest part of the process. If there was a such thing as perfect buyer lists, then the big corporations would own all of them already. Don't get me wrong, they do have lists, but the internet is still so new, it is still possible for individuals to compete for a share at just about any market. Get money by first giving value and gaining trust. If you plan on succeeding in making money online, then this is the most important thing you could ever remember. Step 6. Sell to your list once you have delivered enough information to you visitors and have gained their trust, you are in the perfect position to offer them your product or service. This should be in the form of a solution to whatever it was that first lead them to your website. In some cases, you will be able to make instant sales. In others, you will have to lead your prospects through a sales cycle. Automation is pretty much a requirement for customer follow-up as your prospects flow through your sales funnel. For more information on how to get money online and to grab a free copy of why you'll never succeed online, visit my webpage below.